So you want to play it safe. You got your first date coming up and you want a great fragrance to make you smell good, smell really attractive, but you don't want it to be too challenging and you don't want it to potentially be off-putting. You want something that's going to announce that you are someone who wears fragrances. You just want a good icebreaker. You want to let her know right off the bat, like you're a good smelling dude, you know what you're talking about and you know what you're doing when it comes to fragrances and you're always going to smell good and be clean and presentable. So that's what we're going to be going over today. 10 fragrances that are great for a first date and are just great to break the ice if you're just getting to know someone and you're not really too sure about what their preference or taste is when it comes to colognes on men. First up we have Dolce & Gabbana the One Eau de Parfum. So this right here is going to be the most obvious one in this list. The most obvious one that I could think of to put in this video. This is one you're gonna see in pretty much every single date fragrance video out there and for good reason. You know, it may seem like it's super played out and it's just not gonna work anymore, but really I don't agree with that. I think this one, even though it is popular and a lot of people still know about it, I think it still works great. I mean, for a date night setting, this right here is one of the best you can buy. It's got tobacco, it's got amber, so it's slightly smoky, uh, a little bit warm, but it does have this nice masculine presence about it. Um, it is something that, while it is on the sweeter side, it has just this kind of refined, uh, masculine, almost kind of well put together and clean type of feeling. You know, when you smell this, you don't think of, you know, someone that's uh, smells like an ashtray. You know, some people may see the tobacco note and be a little bit put off. It doesn't have a smoky ashtray, ultra rough type of smell. It has a smooth, sexy, refined kind of warming smell to it. One of the best out there. One of my personal favorites. This one, in my opinion, it's a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. I have so many bottles of this one now. I really stocked up because I wear it a lot. I really do burn through this stuff pretty heavily. Like I've said before, I kind of go through phases where I will wear this one multiple days in a row just because I get hooked. I love it so much. It works great just as a signature scent, but really I think it shines in a date night situation. Dolce & Gabbana, the one eau de parfum, again, the most obvious choice in this video, but it's going to work great for a first date. Basically every woman out there is at the very least going to enjoy or like this fragrance. And on the other end of things, there's gonna be a lot who really, really love this one. So awesome fragrance here, Dolce & Gabbana the One Eau de Parfum. I do wanna mention that one comes in at around $50 or so on discounters. I'm gonna be referencing these prices based off of Fragrance Net's price. So those links will be down below if you wanna check them out. Second fragrance up, we have a cheapie coming in at about, I believe, $20 to $30, somewhere in that price range. This is Halloween Man X. This is a beautiful coffee fragrance. Now. It's warming, it's inviting, it's sexy. Um, you know, it's got a similar thing kind of to Dolce & Gabbana The One, not in terms of scent, they are completely different, but in terms of the scent profile, just being a bit more of a warm, perhaps cooler weather type of scent. Um, that's what this one is all about. That coffee note smells awesome in here. Now, it's not the most high quality coffee scent out there. <laughs> you know, for the price, you wouldn't expect it to be, uh, but it is a really, really good fragrance for the price, 100%. You can get this one on discounters, again, in that $20 to $30 range, making it a steal of a pickup and a great one to break the ice, a great one to wear on a first date. It kind of lets her know that you're into something that's going to be a bit more different, right? It's not your typical freshie that, you know, a lot of people have probably smelled all over the place. This one's gonna have you stand out a little bit more while still being on the very safe side. It's got that sweetness to it, giving it a bit of a youthful touch and that mass appeal type of thing. Most women, especially younger women, are going to love this stuff on a guy. I mean, this is a great compliment getter. It's a great one to wear in the cooler months and a great first date fragrance as well. Now, one thing I do like to point out when I can is that this bottle here is actually a tester. So you got the sticker right there and it does come with a cap. So that means you can save yourself even more money and grab a tester of this one and you still get the cap. You just don't get the fancy box. You get a plain white box, which let's be honest, who really cares? Maybe some of you do, no offense to you, but hey, might as well save some money. You can still get this one with the cap. Third fragrance up, we have one from Coach. This is probably my favorite from this line of fragrances, just the Coach for Men fragrances, I guess. Uh, this one's Coach Platinum. So if you've smelled the original Coach, you'll get a little bit of a Dior Sauvage type of smell. And I would agree with that. It does have that Dior Sauvage thing going on for sure. Coach Platinum, it retains that DNA. It still has a similar thing going on. However, with the addition of Cashmere and Vanilla. More specifically for me, the Vanilla. It comes through sweetening this one up 
rounding off the edges, making it more warm and inviting, which has kind of been the trend so far and what is going to be the trend throughout the video. Um, and it just makes something that still has that mass appeal, that blue fragrance type of feeling in the background, but that vanilla warms it up cashmere and gives it a bit of a modern kind of muskiness in a way and uh, kind of a clean undertone and it just smells awesome like I said for me personally my favorite of the line the coach the original one is still great uh, coach blue I believe is what it's called uh, not my favorite it's a bit boring but coach platinum they hit it out of the park with this one awesome awesome fragrance uh, the bottle is really nice as well uh, you get this nice tag you know it's got for the most part pretty solid presentation for the price now don't quote me on the price i don't exactly remember where this one falls i want to say upper 30s into the 40 dollar range or somewhere around in there although i could be wrong on that one that link will be down below but i know it's not too expensive it's going to be in a lot of your budgets for sure and it's a great one especially for a first date now we are going to be stepping it up to something a little bit more expensive here I'm still a designer i stuck with all designers in this video but we do have one that is going to be a bit on the higher end in terms of quality but also in terms of price this one is armani code absolute so one of my personal favorites armani code flankers this one has vanilla suede and tonka bean and those are really the main players here for me i want to say a little bit of a creamy orange up top um, but you know that kind of fades off relatively quickly into that vanilla suede and tonka bean very sweet all around. Judging by those notes, you would expect that and you would be right. It is a sweet fragrance. But again, this one does have a bit of that playfulness to some extent, a little bit of a youthfulness. However, because of the suede and because of the way this one comes across, it does have kind of this masculine, grown up sexiness in a way. You know, it's one where it kind of rides the line. You know, depending on the type of guy you are, will depend on how this fragrance comes across to women or people around you who smell this on you you know if you're someone who kind of likes to have a little bit of fun but also you like to be serious you know or whatever you kind of have a little bit of both this one will suit you well because depending on the situation depending on the person wearing it it'll kind of uh, behave differently so to speak so this one is a really nice fragrance another one that's perfect for a first date it's sexy it's inviting and this one gets the job done every time so next we do have a fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent I'm sure you're probably wondering what this one is and yeah you're right it's Lanoui de Lome. Yep, I know. Lanoui de Lome. It's boring. Don't kill me. Just kidding. It's actually Lanoui de Lome Eau Electrique. Might have had you go in there because, um, you know, we already had that very obvious fragrance in the beginning, Dolce Gabbana the One. For me, Dolce Gabbana the One and Lanoui de Lome go hand in hand as being a couple of the best date night fragrances ever for men on the designer side and I didn't want to include both of them that just kind of makes it even more repetitive than it already may be with Dolce Gabbana the one that's why I put it up front but we do have a Lanoui de Lone flanker but it's Eau Electrique now this one really for me goes in that Eros direction it has geranium it has vanilla so it's got a bit of that fresh kick but a little bit of a warm sweetness as well following that very much on the youthful side and kind of playful side of things but because of that warmth it makes it perfect for evenings date nights that sort of thing ultra ultra mass appealing just like the original Eros is although this one is a bit more toned back in terms of its delivery it's not as loud and obnoxious as Eros is making this one here great for a first date apply it lightly you don't need to go heavy with this one or really with any of the fragrances in this list and this one will do its magic for you Lanoui de Lome Eau Electrique following along we do have a Chanel this one's going to be for if you have a little bit more of a budget you want to spend a bit more money and this one here will be good if you want something that not only is going to be great on a date but would be great in everyday life as well so I'm talking something you can wear to work, to school, out and about, whatever. Really, this could be your signature scent. There's a lot of people who have this as their signature scent for great reason. One of my favorites from Chanel. Chanel, they have a lot of great fragrances, so it is hard for me to choose a favorite, but this one is up there for sure. This one is Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. Has that fresh sportiness from Allure Homme Sport, like you would probably expect by the name, but then has this nice creamy tonka bean. The tonka bean mixes with the orange that's found in this one, creaminess as well, and that orange is also in the original Allure Sport as well. Orange tonka bean, bit of a spiciness in here, and overall for me, a very kind of smooth scent. 
Now, this one, again, is going to be on the more expensive side of things. I will leave a link down below, but it's going to be taking you to like Neiman Marcus, which is where you get it at retail price, discounters. They just don't really carry these. Uh, so if you want to grab it, it's best to just get it from somewhere trusted like Neiman Marcus. Don't try getting these on eBay. There's so many fakes. I've looked around and it just doesn't seem like a good idea. So going retail is really at the end of the day, the best way to go for these Chanel's in my opinion, but it is a great, great fragrance and it is worth the investment. One of my favorites, like I said, and you know, I still remember when I first got this one and smelled it, I did get it on a blind buy, like with most of my things. And I smelled it and I'm like, wow, that just smells expensive. You know, it's got this kind of uh, fresh masculine undertone like you would expect because it is still a sport version of the scent. Um, and it just kind of has this luxurious type of smell to it, just masculine, almost just kind of sexy, playerish type of smell in a way, just like a handsome guy who's well dressed and is out there, you know, chatting with girls, just doing his thing in life, being very successful. That's just kind of in a nutshell what this one smells like. Great, great modern scent, perfect for a first date. You're not going to offend anyone with this unless you go overboard on the sprays, which I recommend you not to do. This one is strong on projection, especially when you first spray it on. Go easy on it. Maybe uh, one trick I like to do is do a spray up under your shirt. So just kind of do one up under here on your chest. Uh, that way your shirt will kind of hold it back. It will still project and push out. Uh, just something that will kind of tame it back a little bit. Great for a first date, Chanel Allurome Sport O Extreme. Going back to the more affordable side of things here, we have one from Versace. This is not Eros like we were talking about earlier. Rather, I went with Dylan Blue. So this is really going to be one of the only fresh leaning fragrances in this list. It is obviously a blue leaning fragrance. You know, we were kind of talking about that earlier with Coach Platinum, the original Coach kind of having that Sauvage DNA, which is a blue fragrance. This one does get compared to Sauvage. It gets compared to Aqua Atlantique and probably a few other blue fragrances as well. Um, you know, there's a plethora of them out there. Uh, but for me, what I like about Dylan Blue and why I chose this over the others is that it has a sweetness to it. That amber is very strong in here, a little bit of patchouli, the aquatic note smells great, giving it that freshness, some citrus up top, but it ultimately dries down to something on the warmer and sweeter side, and that makes it perfect for a date. Out of all of these in the list, this is probably going to be the most safe, maybe along with even Dolce & Gabbana the one. I still think even though it is a warmer one, it is still very safe. If you just want to be ultra safe, you don't want to risk it at all. You just really don't want to mess this up. This is just something, you know, it's the girl of your dreams and you don't want to take any chances to offend her, which with a lot of these, I don't think you would, but this one here really would be the way to go. I mean, it's just so clean. It's so fresh. It's called a shower gel fragrance for a reason. You know, it just is clean and fresh, simply put. That being said, you're also not going to stand out as much with this one as maybe some of the others. So you're walking a line. You have to decide, do you want to go ultra safe or do you still want to go relatively safe with just a little bit more of a different twist? The choice is up to you, but this one will get the job done for smelling clean and fresh. Going back to the trend of this video here, stuff that is on the warmer side of things, this one is in that category, but it is a little bit of a twist. I really like this one and it does have kind of this uh, fresh, effervescent, sparkling touch to it, so to speak. This one is Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. The opening smells fantastic. It's kind of bubbly, kind of sparkly. Uh, it's got that nice boozy top note, um, but then ultimately it has quite a bit of sweetness as well. One of my favorites from Paco Rabanne, I would say this one and Pure Excess Night are a couple of my favorites. Really, really nice scents. This one here gonna be more safe, more wearable, and really better for a date, more specifically a first date. The night version, uh, it's a bit more spicy. It is a bit more sweet as well, but it's gonna be a bit more daring. Now that one's a bit for the enthusiast, whereas this one's gonna be a bit more for the masses. Still smells awesome. It's got good performance, more than enough for a date setting. This one is great for smelling different, but at the same time having that assurance that basically anyone is going to like the scent on you. Almost down to the end, second to last fragrance, we have Stronger With You Intensely by George, by Emporio Armani. I almost said Giorgio Armani, but that would be false. This one is Emporio Armani, but still nonetheless an Armani fragrance. And with that, you get something that is good quality, and also, you guessed it, good mass appeal. Designer brands, especially these top tier high-end designer brands, 
are going to put out things that smell good to others. That's just how they operate. Look at the whole Aqua de Joe line. Look at, you know, everything else that they put out. I mean, I don't need to list these off for you. You guys know, I'm sure, the Armani Code line, so on. Um, this one right here has a really nice kind of roasted chestnuts sitting by the fire type of scent. It does have that sweetness in here. It has a little bit of a gourmand feel to it, just some sort of a kind of edible dessert type of thing which does make it relatively sweet as well. And I guess I should say pretty sweet, very sweet. It's not just relatively sweet. I mean, this is definitely on the sweeter side of things for sure, which is the trend that I was kind of going for. But with that comes mass appeal and just the fact that you're going to smell good and sexy to those around you. And it's perfect for a first date. It just has that playfulness about it. It's just got that kind of fun sexiness about it. Very modern because of that sweetness that it has. Great one for a first date, Emporio Armani Stronger With You Intensely. And just as a real quick aside, you can put the original Stronger With You. That one's great as well. Performance isn't so good, however, for a date, that doesn't really matter. For me at this point, I try to recommend the Intensely version when I can because I still think it's very close to the original, just stronger performance. There's really no need in buying one with less performance. You might as well get the one that performs the best and then just apply less sprays. Um, just for the situation that you're in. That's just kind of something I wanted to throw in there. Even if it's for a date, just get the intensive version, limit your sprays, then you can wear this one out in the winter time and have that good performance. And last fragrance up, we have one from John Vervedos. I just had to slip one in here. I love the house of John Vervedos. They make some amazing fragrances. Okay, this is vintage, has that tobacco, has that balsam fir, um, has just this nice, fresh, masculine woodiness about it. Smells fantastic, very mass appealing, very wearable. It's a versatile scent, but also making it perfect for a first date. Great icebreaker scent. When a woman smells this one on you, it's immediately gonna set you apart from everyone else, and you're just gonna smell great. It has that kind of masculine, sexy edge to it. Just a really nice one, especially for the price, coming in at about $30, $35, I believe. Performance is okay, not the best, but again, for a date, doesn't need to be the best. Great run right here, something different and unique, John Varvados Vintage. So guys, that was gonna do it for me. That was 10 fragrances to break the ice. These are great for a first date. If you wanna stand out a little bit, but still kind of ride the line of wearing something a bit different, check any of these 10 out, they are killer. If you wanna pick any of these up, they will be linked down below. My camera light is flashing red, so I'm finishing up just in time here. The battery is just about gone. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.